What's going on guys? A little update here on this engine, kind of part two of the engine build here. Um, I got it kind of covered up right now to keep the dirt and stuff out of it, but uh, got to the point now, uh, basically it's almost all the way done. Um, intakes on, throttle body and plenum are on, um, heads are on, cams are in. I got the rear main seal finished up and then the flywheel and um, clutch on. I got uh, new oil pan and gasket on and uh oil pump and pickup tube and i got the timing chains and stuff all on and injectors in and you know it's basically almost done the point of the video is these are competition cam stage four cams okay and i have really bad piston to valve contact so really fast no i did not degree the cams yes you should i gotta order a degree wheel and degree these because these will hit pistons both sides um i don't really see through there but i kind of got a couple of uh rocker or roller followers in there because i was putting them in there as the flats were towards the lifter or towards the uh, lash adjusters and uh, i got to the point on the driver's side over there <coughs> where um number six intake number six exhaust i'm sorry uh was hitting so i took it back out rotated fine Decided to just keep putting them on this side, and I got to uh, number one exhaust, and it was hitting as well. And it's right where the lobe is at the very bottom, where it's at uh, um, the max valve lift. So the uh, stuff for this here, um, these are the cam cards you get. And, uh, you know, I was reading up online where people say, oh, you don't need to degree these cams because they're not going to hit and all their low lift and all this stuff and i'm just making this for you guys this is a non-pi bottom end with pi heads on it and before you say oh well that's why the dish does not matter if you have pi cam or pi a pi engine with the the bigger dish the valves hit the crown of the piston not inside the dish so it does not matter what what kind of uh, dish you have if you have um without valve reliefs they're going to hit so maybe some of you out there put these in with no problems. Um, I gently spin over my hand because I uh, I don't want to put it all together and try and start it and then have it you know break a valve off. So for right now, um, I just have it uh, right and spin it by hand. So now I got to get a degree wheel and degree the cams. And no, I do not have adjustable cam gears. If you get these cams, I would say buy them. Um, I wouldn't got an AutoZone timing set to put on here because. I was going to try and make uh, one good set out of two bad ones, and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to buy a new set. So I went and bought a set from AutoZone to put on here, and it's a set, so it's a decent set. Um, but uh, I'm going to find this off a little bit here. Uh, I just covered it up for the video, not thinking about me doing a video. Um, you know, but yeah, I uh, did all that and, and whatnot, and... Just kind of sucks because I wanted this engine done. I'm sick of uh, having this thing like almost done. And so it's pretty close though. Um, it would have been done if that wouldn't have stopped me. But just a little um, thing here for if you decide to go with camshafts, I'm pretty sure a stage two comp is the biggest you can go without having piston to valve contact. So just something to think about. Um, but I also want the uh, aluminum flywheel actually off of a three valve car. So that's an 11 inch clutch with a aluminum flywheel on there. Um, one thing I didn't think about, I put the intake on is that my chain has completely crushed um, this hose, which not that word because it's pretty cracked anyway. So um, I plan to run E85 on here. So I'm gonna replace this hose anyway, because um, I guess this will deteriorate with uh, with the ethanol so but uh also fun fact here um do not buy these shitty ass headers from i'm assuming these are those american muscle cheap ones not the bbks or is there ebay headers um they don't line up or fit at all so when you put them on only four holes will fit the other two are or the other four are way off okay and you can see where somebody started trying to grind this out a little bit before I got them, same with over here. The issue is if you grind the holes bigger to move them over, then the exhaust ports actually get covered up by part of the cylinder head. 
So these heads are headers are worthless. They're they're absolute trash. I wish I would have bought them. This side here I put on already, and they had to be ground out. And it didn't occur to me at the time putting it on there that by making the holes bigger in there and then moving the header over to make it fit, um, it was gonna cover up the exhaust port holes. So I gotta take that side back off and then uh, buy a different set of headers. So I'm probably gonna go with long tubes and just put long tubes on this thing because uh, these ones here are trash, 100 bucks down the drain. So I bought these used off of a uh, marketplace. Um, not used, but you know, from a guy on marketplace. And now I see why he was selling them because they're garbage. So I do have the BBK ones off of that car I could put on this engine, but um, I don't feel like taking those back off and, and doing a lot of crap. And now I got to run the EGR on here because um, nobody around me will tune the EGR off anymore. So got to have the exhaust port on the header now to go onto the EGR. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But uh, so I'll make this quick video here about the update on the engine. Um, and yeah, just these are the 274 H's um, or XC 274 H's. So they're comp stage four. If you're considering buying these, you probably are going to have piston to valve clearance issues. I would recommend number one, buying adjustable cam gears with them. And number two, degreeing the cams, do it correctly. Um, I gotta buy a degree one now and do this shit because they don't work. And uh, now I gotta buy different headers because those ones don't work. And so there's that, but uh, that's it for now. We'll talk to you guys later.